What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something pretty useful if you're planning to downgrade in the future. And that is how to save the app ticket or the SHSH blobs uh, for those of you who refer to them as that um, from the device directly for an iOS version that is not signed. So what we're going to do is to pretty much dump them directly from the device. And there is a catch to this. I'm going to, to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So the thing is that you are able to do this whether you are jailbroken or not, which is something good. But at the same time, there is currently no way that you can use the app ticket that you dump from the device in order to downgrade. So the problem is that we're still waiting for something magical to happen and somebody to create a program that will be able to handle these app tickets because the app ticket doesn't contain the nonce generator. So it's not the same as the one you save while the iOS version is signed. That's why I recommend you to save them while the iOS version in Coast is actually signed. But this is still very, very useful since it contains pretty much all the hashes that are required by your device in order to start. And it's still that unique app ticket. Now, somebody will ask me what is an app ticket in the first place? Well, an app ticket is pretty much the SHSH blob that we're referring to when we say that you need to have them saved in order to be able to downgrade. But these are the new SHSH blobs, you know, the ones that are used since iOS 5.0 and you know later. So uh, I'm going to show you now how to save the app ticket. But as I say, it is very important to keep in mind that even though you save it right now, you cannot use it at this point in time, at the time I'm making the video for downgrades, but they might be very useful in the future. And if you don't have them in the future, you might not be able to downgrade. So it doesn't hurt to simply save them. Okay, so what you need is an application called appdump10.ipa. So this one will be deployed to the device using the CDA impactor. First thing, of course, you connect the device to the uh, computer. And of course, make sure that it's unlocked if you have a passcode. Now we're going to drag the app dump and I'm going to log in with my credentials. Be right back. Okay, so we're waiting for it to install the application. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, device now and show you how to use it. All right, so assuming that you installed the application successfully, it looks like this, app dump, and um, you're going to need to use it. By the way, I'm currently running on iOS 10.2. So for example, if I want to save the app ticket for iOS 10.2 before I do an upgrade or before I do whatever, I just want to have it for my peace of mind, I can use this application even if I'm not jailbroken. I do have yellow dark, but it's not even signed as you can see it simply crashes because I have to resign it so I'm not jailbroken currently if I open Cydia it's not starting but the application will work so if you open the application it will pretty much dump the entire app ticket in here in a plist format and it pretty much contains all the hashes and all that good stuff now as I say that I'm going to reiterate it for those of you who didn't pay attention you can't use this at the point of making this video in order to downgrade, but you might be able to use them in the future and major developers from the iOS and jailbreak community recommend saving this if you have a device running a specific version you would like to be able to downgrade in the future. Once it's dumped, you have a couple options. For example, you can uh, press the share button and you can either airdrop it to your computer, laptop or whatever that supports airdrop. You can mail it to yourself using Gmail or the mail application or whatever you have. You can add it to the notes, copy it, import it with files if you have files installed and you're jailbroken and many, many other things. Now I have here the applications according to what I have installed but in your case you might have uh, more options it's a good idea to save it somewhere to mail it to you or whatever and save it on your computer somewhere in the plist format because that's what it is it's a plist so um once you have this, you pretty much saved it. And yes, they are valid. Some people say online that they are not valid if you save them, uh, which in fact is false, is misinformation, since they do work. I mean, they are uh, valid. And you can actually check that with TeamStars tool. But yes, they do not contain a nonce generator, 
which makes them very hard to use for the moment, and we do not have a method to use them for the moment, but that doesn't mean they're not valid, they are taken from your device. So yeah, that's pretty much how you dump them, uh, you just have to copy them, mail them to yourself, and that's it. And I recommend you to do this with any device that you have that is running on a version that is no longer signed, because as you can see, iOS 10.2 is no longer signed, but the application dumped the blob from the device itself, which is quite good. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.